afternoon, I'm Danielle North. Again, a lot happening this noon time. First, a Cranston man identified as a suspect after a nine year old girl was grabbed and forced into a vehicle on Monday afternoon. We're working the very latest details as he's facing a judge in court today. 12 News reporter Brandon Truett live at the courthouse in Providence with the details. Brandon. Danielle, it was a brief appearance in court for no more than two minutes, but the charges are serious. Accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting a minor, 34 year old Luis Martinez Romero of Cranston in front of a judge just moments ago. You see him here in a t-shirt and handcuffs. The judge ordered him held without bail. He placed a no contact order between him and the victim. He'll have another appearance later in the month, but it was this surveillance video that was seen really across the country yesterday. The little girl walking off the school bus the car you see police say that is driven by Martinez Romero pulls up into the driveway of the girl's home. He gets out, grabs her and then ultimately drives away. Today we learned more about what police say led them to find the suspect. Police say they come through hours of video, but it was the nine year old girl's statements that helped them piece together a timeline. Police ultimately arresting Martinez Romero last night on Manton Avenue in Providence. That's just about a mile away from where he picked the girl up. It for us Certainly we thought there may be a connection with the family. Uh, he, he may somehow live in the neighborhood, may know the residents. Uh, there's no indication of that. This appears to be a stranger crime at this point. He lives in Cranston. And of course, these charges comes with the news that the little girl was sexually assaulted. Police say that she's doing OK. She's getting the necessary help um, from their resources. Also, police say Martinez Romero is married. They arrested him yesterday as he was holding his newborn baby. More to come on this later at 4 o'clock. Live in Providence, Brandon True at 12 News.